Hello YouTubes! Welcome back to another virtual Halloween haul. What do we like more than Halloween? Clearance Halloween. And me and Savage been all up in the stores, perpetrating everywhere, trying to find clearance Halloween and stuff that the stores are kicking off the shelves so we can grab it for next year. We've been to Menards, we've been to Ross, we've been to Spirit Halloween, Home Depot, we've hit them all. Trunk is loaded, we gotta unload and get in there and break out this haul. So let's do it. Let's get rolling, let's show you what we got. Okay, YouTubes, we're all unloaded. Let's get into this haul. I got stuff everywhere. What's up, little man? Uh, one of my first stops was uh, Menards. After Halloween, they had everything 50% off, so I walked through there to see what I could find. Sad to say, this is all I got from Menards. I thought these were pretty cool for like a giveaways or kind of these little sturdy pumpkins. And they got some kind of like little stem underneath or something like that. I don't know if they screw into lights or they screw into something. But uh, I got these guys for I think $1.50 a bag, so I figured hey, I'll snatch them up and I'll use them for something down the road. I don't know. But that was really my only find at Menards this year. So that's all they had. At least that I was interested in. The rest of the stuff I had seen there, I had bought. So my next stop was most definitely Joanne Fabrics. They had a lot of cool, super expensive stuff this year. Uh, as you can see from my other shopping videos. Man, were they outrageously priced this year. But I did go back, they had an 80% off sale, and they still managed to have a couple of things. So at Joann's, I think the first thing I grabbed, receipts, he needs that crap, was I found this cool gold snake. This guy was awesome. He was like, uh, I think I paid $7 for him or something like that at 70 or 80% off. I figured I could use it for either an Egyptian theme or put it on a book cover or do something cool with it, you know, repaint it. But I thought, man, that's a really cool, nice resin sculpt for uh, for seven or eight bucks from Joanne. So I was happy to snatch this was his last one. Uh, the other last thing they had at Joanne's was this. Now this thing was $40 sticker price. I was not about to pay $40 for it. I didn't even want the damn thing. The only thing I liked this for was the snake. It's probably hot glued on. I thought the snake was another good quality resin um, casting. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna get this thing. And I think I paid $11 and 20 something cents for it off of uh, $40, $39.99 for an MDF box and a resin cast snake. So I'm gonna use the snake and maybe I'll use the box or something else, don't know. Uh, but that was Joann's. And the last thing I found at Joann's, which I was kind of shocked to find, um, walking through the aisles, because they were already starting to put Christmas stuff out, was they had this guy. I had saw him earlier in the year, and it was gone when I went back, so I thought, oh man, you know, what's the chance? And sure enough, when I run around behind the first aisle of stuff, they had one of these guys left. It's a big uh, coffin box. I think it's normally 24 bucks. And I got this guy for, I think, 70% off. The week before, they did the 80% off, uh, like a couple of days after Halloween. He was normally $24.99, and I think I snatched this guy up for $10 is what he came out to be, like $9.99 or something. But it actually seems like a good plywood box, and I'll make some kind of project out of it. I don't know, maybe a table, maybe a wall hanging of some kind, maybe put a creepy doll in there or something like that. I don't know. But for uh, 9 bucks, I figured I couldn't pass on this. So like I said, we were hot on the Halloween trail. We were going everywhere. Me and Savage were checking out all the deals, trying to scam. Uh, I think the next place we went was Ross. Now Ross this year was kind of a disappointing letdown. Um, they usually have some pretty cool stuff. I found I think maybe two, three items this year at Ross. Not the greatest stuff, I think because of the COVID drove it all back. But I thought the one cool thing I did do from Ross that I saw was this guy. A cool metal skull, and I figured, you know what, let's make this a giveaway, man. Like, I got something for cheap, let me give it away to one of you guys. So if you guys are interested in this skull from Ross, uh, it's all metal. It's like a door knocker style or something like that. You can drill the eyes out, do whatever you want to it. I think I paid uh, $9.99 for this guy. But it was super cool. I've got a couple left over from a couple of years past. So, hey, go down in the comments, write enter me. And in two weeks, we will uh, go, we'll go on my uh, Cobwebs and Candlesticks Facebook page, and I'll announce the winner on there for the uh, Skull Door Knocker. So that way you guys can get out on the action too if you couldn't find any Halloween sales for yourself. Um, I think my next trip was, uh, was Meyer. Let me load up Meyer, and we'll come back and see what I got from there. Okay, YouTubes, next on the list, Meyer. 
I went there the day after Halloween. They had all their 50% stuff after I hit Spirit. Um, their theme this year was the Halloween Bazaar happening now. I don't even know how this fell in the cart. It just came off the wall and landed there. So they're happening uh, Halloween Bazaar. Pretty cool. So that was Myers. And uh, I got, I seen a lot of cool Master earlier in this year. But I started going through looking at all their stuff. And they had some pretty decent deals and some stuff left over. I got a couple of hats. And these guys were normally, I think, 7 bucks a piece. Uh, they were even more than 50% off. They were discounted to like two fifty a piece. So I got two hats, two fifty. One's like a zombie version, and one's like a glittery silver version. Although it's not glitter, so I figured, eh, hey, for three bucks I'll do, or two fifty for five bucks I'll do something with it down the road. So the hats were a pretty good deal, and that was all they had left. Uh, I went through, and I found a cool wig, sort of an auburn wig. This guy ended up costing me seven bucks on clearance. He was normally I think like fourteen or something like that. But it's kind of a long red wig, so I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool. You can never have too much hair or too many cheap wigs. So I got a wig from Myers. Where you see? Oh, here. Don't remind me of my bad spending. Get out of here. All right. So Myers had some costumes this year. Not a great selection. But when I was walking through, I found an adult size uh, Halloween Unknown Phantom. He's basically just your generic black robe. And I thought you can never have too many black robes. And this guy cost me 11 bucks. He's adult size. He comes with a, a hood, so hey, to have something to do a full body prop, 10 bucks, 11 bucks to pay, not a bad price at all. So I was really happy to snatch this guy up and I'll throw him in my costume bin and I can use him for something later. So Myers did pretty good this year. I was also excited when I was at Myers walking around. I found these guys still there, which I was kind of shocked about. And these guys were normally, I think, $7. And I bought both of them. They're uh, sort of like APOC masks to me. They got a cool like little uh, little breather. They look sort of like uh, yeah, a gas mask they call it, but they got little lenses in the eyes. I thought, man, these are so cool and they're hard plastic, and these only cost me two fifty a piece, so I grabbed both of them. So the hard plastic masks are really awesome. I think I can do something cool APOC down the road with these guys. So for two fifty, I had to snatch these guys up and not let them go. And then the last thing they had was an alien mask. And again, another two fifty mask. Uh, I gotta pull them out of there. He's hard plastic. I think I grabbed the green one, and I really don't do aliens, but I thought, you know, maybe I can use them for something down the road. I mean, for 250, how do you pass that up? You know, it's got thin, pretty good constructed plastic. You know, it's got a single strap. But I thought, man, I could probably make something cool or creepy out of that down the road. So Myers was overall a pretty good trip for me. I got a lot of cool stuff and basically building supplies for next year. So I think next up was uh, Home Depot. I'm going to reload. We're going to do Home Depot next. Okay, YouTubes. Next up to bat was Home Depot. You know, everybody was in and out of there this year looking for a 12-foot skeleton. I got none. But they had a lot of cool stuff this year despite it being a COVID year. So I went back up there the day after, and boy, did I win big. I got these two big boys for 20 bucks a piece, 19.98 or whatever the heck it was. Um, I thought they were an awesome deal. They were a <coughs> Excuse me. They're a great sculpt. Um, I was really happy to find these guys, and I'll add them to the rest of my pumpkins uh, outside, maybe some inside for Halloween. So I grabbed a couple more of those guys this year. Uh, they did have clearance on everything, so I grabbed this guy. He was a nice kind of sturdy pumpkin. He was only like nine dollars or eight fifty or something like that. Um, blow molded. He didn't have a bulb in him, so I went and got a bulb, and the bulb cost me just as much as a damn pumpkin. But whatever. I got another pumpkin to add to the pumpkin patch. So I couldn't pass this guy up for $9. They didn't have very much. All the big pumpkins were gone. But I did find another baby Carlos. I just thought this guy was so cool. He's got such a great sculpt in the head. Uh, these guys were normally like 17 or 18 bucks, something like that. And his little eyeballs glow. Little baby Carlos. Um, so I got another one of him just for the hell of it. He was cheap. I got him for, I think, 8 bucks, seven ninety-eight or something like that. So couldn't pass on a second baby Carlos. The last thing they had, which is probably my greatest coup, was, oh man, people were having a hard time finding these. Some of their stores didn't have them at all. Boy, they had the bags of baby heads. You get three of them for, I think it was $6 originally. When I got there, they were $1.50. So I got a whole bag of baby heads. We got baby heads galore. I saw Lloyd Kirkpatrick did uh, a baby head doll limb, which I thought was really cool. And I don't really do dolls yet. I haven't really tinkered with dolls yet, but I thought... You know, man, I can use them for giveaways or for whatever else. So, well, I got me a big old bag of doll heads, and there's probably, I don't know, 20 in there. Maybe 
yeah, probably 20, 18, 20 in there. And it cost me $1.50 for every three. So I probably got four or five dollars in doll heads in a whole bag. So I got plenty to build. And then lastly, at Home Depot, again, this year, I thought this was the steal of the year. Man, if you guys didn't see the cat skulls, these guys are so cool, man. They were, again, were three for a dollar in a bag. Or no, three for, uh, they were like $5.98 or something. They got a really cool glass cabochon, or maybe it's plastic, I don't know. That might be plastic, but they're kind of blow molded and hollow, and they were such a cool little skull to me. Look at that little evil Grimly guy, man. He is so freaking cool. So they had plenty left, so me and Savage loaded up. I think she threw like seven or eight bags in my uh, cart. I already sent, I think, six or eight heads out to different people and stuff who couldn't find them this year. So the cat heads, again, I went ahead and went overboard because I don't know if they're going to come back next year if it's one of those deals where Home Depot puts them out for one year and one year only. So I just got a bag of them, man. I just overloaded. Again, there's probably 18, 20 cat heads in there, and I've already sent some out to people. So maybe I'll give some of these away for giveaways and stuff like that. I'll toss a cat head in there for you. But I thought, man, these would be so great for like a canopic jar, like Freddy Zone. You know, such a great skull to put on top of a jar or a little skeleton animal. So, man, the cat heads I was loving this year. What a great deal for Home Depot. They, they just totally kill it this year. I think they whipped everybody's ass on uh, all the Halloween stuff for COVID this year. So I think my last stop was uh, one of my last stops was Spirit Halloween. And boy, they had a ton of stuff there. So I'm going to load up Spirit Halloween. We're doing them next. Okay, YouTubes. You know, the day after Halloween, you know I was going to be up in Spirit Halloween to see what they had left in that hole. So, the first thing I saw, which I was kind of wanting this year, was the big old gargoyle uh, tombstone. It's like 36 inches tall. It's actually a pretty decent quality tombstone. And this year, since I got my hot wire foam factory tools and I had made Anthony's uh, tombstone for the graveyard, I really want to bulk out my graveyard this year. Most of my tombstones are old and falling apart. And I really like this one of Spirit. I'll probably add some more detail and I'll carve some deeper uh, deeper grooves and stuff in them. And I'll back them and stuff. But uh, I really wanted to start out strong, so I grabbed this guy because I think he'll make a great addition to the old graveyard for Mortimer out there to hang around. So we're going to add on to this guy and make him better this year. And this guy was normal, I think, what did I pay for this guy? Uh, okay, he was $24.99. I got him for half price. He was like $12. So for $12, a full 36-inch tombstone, I don't think you can beat that. So that was a pretty cool buy. My other one of the cool buys, they had a lot of weapons left, and you're asking yourself, Cobbas, what the hell are you doing with the battle axe? Impulse buy. I just had to have it look cool. Look at that thing. That's a big old honking monster. And he was only $10. When you not buy a big battle axe for $10, you can't pass on that stuff. I just thought it was super cool. It gives me ideas to maybe make a bigger version of this one uh, down the road. Maybe this year, I don't know, if I get a bigger prop or if I get a 12-foot skeleton, maybe we should make like a 12-foot battle axe, something in this kind of style. But for $10, you cannot pass that kind of deal up. So I grabbed this guy. I thought he was cool. Uh, also, around the Home Depot, mostly everything was wiped out. Uh, they had a couple of animatronics up. The Maestro, he was the last one they brought out of the year. They had Krampus before that. I think they had one. Like I said, they were kind of a wipe this year. Um, they had one of most, uh, one Harvester of Souls this year. They had one Swamp Sewer Environment, which I got. But uh, walking around, though, they still had some cool stuff. I saw these guys. They were $12.99 a piece, so I got them for $6.50. I mean, look at that face. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, you can put that on a bottle topper, you can make that a fence post, you can make that into a weapon and use it as an actual staff, what it's meant for, but most of the time, I don't use what the hell things they told you to use for, I use them for the opposite thing. But man, it can make a cool headdress or a cool belt buckle, you know, and there were three of them left, so I bought all of them. So I got this guy, got a loose pole, I got his little brother, again, for six bucks, you cannot beat these kind of guys, these buys, man. Look how cool that is. Like I said, fence posts, bottle toppers, you never know. And that's the last one, their little cousin. So I got three of those guys for six bucks a piece. Cannot beat that. And I think one of the other cool things I found at Spirit, which I thought was cool if I ever do a pirate theme, man, they had these cool guns from Assassin's Creed. They actually look pretty good. You pop a little red cap off the end so you know it's not a little play toy. And these guys ended up costing me five bucks a piece. They were ten dollars normally, so I got a pair of them. I thought these would look good like on a pirate skeleton or something like that. But it's like, man, how do you not buy these for five bucks a piece? You can foam fill them, give them some weight. I mean, little uh, little thingy cocks back, whatever like that. So I thought, you know, for five bucks, I'm going to grab all of them. And they only had two, so 
I got both. But I thought these were another great buy with pretty good detail for like an outdoor skeleton or like in a pirate theme or something like that. So I got those guys at Spirit 2. And then most of the good stuff was gone, so I went through the masks and I went through the costumes because sometimes there's a lot of cool buys. And I found this guy. You guys know what it is? He's the Reaper. You guys know about the Reaper? I don't, so tell me in the comments below who this guy is. It's a really cool mask. He's a Overwatch guy of some kind, but man, it's a really cool thick mask. You know, and I can make something cool, make a prop out of it, or just add on to this thing. And it was only, it was already reduced to $4.98. So I got him for half price. So this guy cost me $2.50. So how do you not buy that? It's like a big, heavy, dense foam mask for $2.50. Had to have it, and they only had one. So I was kind of hoping to get the werewolf from the, uh, the Ben Cooper line, the classic masks, but they were long gone. So I did see this guy, and I got him for $2.50. And then I started going through costumes and stuff and accessories. And man, they still had some cool stuff left on the shelves. I got me a lab coat, which was really cool. Uh, this guy was, uh, I think, $11. So it's a full lab coat. It's like, man, you could totally distress this thing and, and put it on a, a, a mannequin or something like that. But it's a full-size adult lab coat. And it fits my long monkey arm, so that's pretty cool. So I might do something with this next year. I don't know, I'll throw it in my costume bin, but for 10 bucks, Cannot pass on a lab coat. So I'm still walking around Spirit checking out stuff, and I saw this guy. Oh man, a monk's robe. Like, I don't even have a monk's robe. Like, how cool would that be to monster mud this up and throw it on a skeleton or something like that? So it's an adult monk robe. This guy was $21.99, $21 so again, I got him for $11. Don't need that. I guess this is probably his hood. We'll save that. And then, let's roll him out. So for 11 bucks, man, how do you beat having a monk's robe? Yeah, you can use it on a full-size guy, it's adult size. Um, he does come with a hood, so that's pretty cool. It's thin polyester, but man, you could totally distress that, you know, it'd be totally cool. But for 11 bucks, man, cannot pass on a monk's robe, so I had to have that when I saw that. I got uh, one other thing, costume-wise, I think. They had black collared capes. So anytime I see a black colored cape, I'll usually grab it because I know I'm going to distress it or use it down the road. Again, these are like socks. You can never have too many of them. So we'll show you what that looks like. It's a one size fits all adults. And I think I paid $6 for this, which is like cheaper than the ones like at CVS. It looks like it's one color. It's got a padded collar so you can stand it up or something like that. And it's got neckties. And this guy, like I said, was only 6 bucks, so I had to have this guy. So I thought that was awesome. So I'm still walking around Spirit, and when I was checking, ready to check out, they had some of the bags still there, the blood bag, and they, I got the zombie bag this year. So Savage can use this for one of her Halloweens, or I could put some of my uh, stuff away from the shop, my glue gun or whatever, and stick it in the bag. And basically just use them as storage. I mean, why not? I was walking around still, and I found these guys. Horns. They were nine bucks, so they cost me five bucks a piece. They're already pretty dense foam filled, so I got two of them. Because usually when I buy a horn or I see horns, if they're cheap enough, I'll get them. Because you can put them on a skull, you can put them on a mask, you can put them on anything. You can shave them down a little bit. And they're pretty dense. So it's like, man, for five bucks, you can't make horns for five bucks. You know, so I got both of them. They had two left. I grabbed them both. And these look cool on a helmet, a mask, or whatever, you know. Um, I think I'm getting close to the end of spears. You see, don't need that. Savage, son of a bitch. Jelly bracelets, not mine. This is a savage purchase. I didn't know that was in there. Oh, Grace. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they had koozies. I thought that was pretty cool. It's for the summertime, you want to kick back and have a nice cold Pepsi. You can stick your can on this to look cool. And this, I had the, I actually have the shirt for this, the In and Out Automotive Deep Pipe Injection. <laughs> But I thought, that's pretty awesome. So I can stick my can of pop in there for the summertime while Cobbubs is out here working on creepy projects and stuff like that. What else do I got from Spirit? Oh, my 20% off coupon. That'd be good for next year. Oh, this was April's choice. April saw this whip and she said, okay, hey, let's get this. It was only $7.99. So the whip cost me $4. How can you beat a whip? I don't know. Am I going to do an Indiana Jones character? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But that was my overall Spirit buy. And I was pretty happy with it, even though they did all the animatronics were gone, they were limited this year on what they had. Uh, I think I still cleaned up pretty good after Halloween. And after I left there, I did go across the street to Hobby Lobby just for the hell of it to see if they had anything left, like some pumpkins or something like that. And they did not. So, what did I grab from Hobby Lobby? 
two purchases. And these are not Halloween related, but they will be. So every year, boy, when it comes winter time, I love to destroy me some Christmas. So I got two, ah, uh, freaking glitter bath, god damn it. Is this guy fucking coated in glitter too? Okay, no glitter for this scumbag. I'm gonna chop these up this winter, guys. We're gonna make monsters out of these things. I've got a whole nutcracker uh, a group of guys done, and I'm gonna keep adding to that family. So this winter time this year, I'm gonna try and snatch up a few more of these little guys, and uh, we're gonna make them monsters. I wanna make like a uh, some companions to the ones I already have. I need to make me a Bride of Frankenstein for my Frankenstein nutcracker, but I always buy the wooden ones that the mouth actually works because I keep them functionable. So that is what I was doing this year. This is how I cleaned up. This is everything I found. Thank you, little man. Thanks for helping. Um, I hope you guys got some sales. Man, if you guys got some cool clearance items, man, post them on Cobwebs and Candlesticks on the Facebook page. Show us what you got, where you got it, how much you paid for it. I'm interested to see how you guys did after Halloween. And for the Trio of Terror, guys, we're not stopping, man. We're going right on ahead. Right now it's preseason. It's November 10th, 11th. I don't really know the day. I know it's November. But this is preseason for us. We're going to be building all through the year up until next Halloween. So, man, you guys post your projects on the Trio of Terror page. Post them on cobwebs and candlesticks. We're looking for you guys is what you're building because we're going to build all through the winter time and we ain't stopping. There's no backing down for us. So, man, I thank you guys for hanging out. I thank you guys for looking at all the crap I bought. And please, go on YouTube or go on the uh, cobwebs and candlesticks Facebook page of the Trio and share your after Halloween purchases. Show us what you got and what you paid for it. So until I see you guys again, keep it evil, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ooh, I'm going to snap my damn eye out of my head. Ooh, snap. Ooh, I'm sorry, little man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.